Hello Commanders and welcome to the second episode of the Rise of Austria series. Of course we are going to continue the first action, the first invasion of Italy on us of course. We saw that Italy did not waste a lot of time to carry on his first invasion and a gentle reminder boys that Italy belongs to a huge European coalition composed of Germany, France, Poland and, uh, and Norway. Of course, yeah, I know, I am in a bad situation, I am in a very difficult situation and now Italy is coming towards me, towards my homeland cities. He already took down one of my homeland cities, the city of Villac, and uh, he is carrying on a good invasion from all the sides. He has a recon division near the city of Ljubljana, attacking me from the west with the Taut Artilleries and lurking around with his air superiority fighter and you can see here the green dot, the air force radar has uh, appeared. I will try to intercept it with my fighter squadron. Uh, I do not want that uh, green dot to be to be a threat for my strike fighter because I have one strike fighter going to attack the Italian Taut artillery. So I do not need it and want it to go uh, after my strike fighter. This is why I will use my air security fighter to intercept it. Uh, of course, that's the recon division I was see I, I, I was speaking about near the city of Graz. It is waiting. It is waiting for my defenses to move from that city so he can strike. Yeah, he is lurking around there, he is waiting, he is being patient. The good thing about Italy here, he is not moving recklessly. I like this about him because uh, most of the games uh, with uh, new players, I don't know, in all of the pub maps, in the beginning players start throwing everything at their enemies recklessly like that scattered units scattered recon divisions scattered i don't know they start throwing everything on their enemy but here i noticed that italy is moving smartly and slowly because i can see that he is waiting for his recon division there that recon division is 100 percent is going to be headed to the capital vienna so he wants to clear the defenses in the city of graz and later on proceed to vienna and also from this side near the city of brigands he literally sent his third artillery to attack me from distance. This is what I would do in his place, yeah? But guys, do not worry. Consider today's episode as a tutorial on how to defend your nation early game. Consider it as a tutorial. You need to focus on every word I'm going to say because it's going to be very important. If you survive your first 10 days in every public map, I assure you, your game is going to be good and you can reach further stages of that game. But if you die in the first five days, rest in peace. Okay, in this case, uh, we see that Italy has carried on his invasion. And I would I would like to launch a counterattack. But before I speak about this, look at this, guys. What Syria is doing in Poland? What Syria is doing is in Poland? This is weird. Well, look at this. Look at this coalition. Turkey, Greece, Syria and Ukraine. Syria is fighting with his allies in Europe and leaving his country a threat to Iraq, Saudi Arabia, everyone there. Well, this is a little bit fishy, guys. Because, I don't know. Well, here we have a situation, boys. I went to the third artillery, but um, the Italian air security fighter is after me. The Italian air security fighter is after me. Okay, I'm going to send it my fighter there. But I hope he does not catch up on me and catch up on my strike fighter because I do not want him to damage it. It's my only one. It's my only one. Okay, so I am going to continue my strategy here defending Austria. So like I said, I will stay in a defensive position with my National Guards to benefit of the 50% bonus defense inside the cities. I will damage him as much as possible and later on I'm going to send my two recon divisions to his key cities, Milan and Venice. If Milan and Venice, they are going to fall, these are his only gateways to Austria from Italy. If I stand up there, he will start throwing his remaining infantries from the cities of Napoli, Rome and um, Palermo, but he will find the gates to Austria closed because I will be positioned in Milan and Venice. So here I am 100% sure that Italy he sent his armies in Milan and Venice to attack me. So I do not think he has defenses inside those cities now so far. This is why I am going to launch a counterattack from my two recon divisions. One recon, seven infantries, one recon, seven infantries going straight to his homeland cities. 
The good thing that in the city of Guaz I have a good stack of six national guards that is going to be a good heavyweight for him before attacking me. And the Italian squadron, the Italian fighter is almost, almost dead. It has only two uh, hit points. And actually he is targeting my recon division. Unlucky for him, he is going to die now. Well, rest in peace. This is a good thing. We got rid of the Italian air superiority fighter. A very good thing. I'm trying to uh, build uh, a military hospital in my capital Vienna to be able to heal my aircraft. Every aircraft is going to be very important early in this game because it is going to be my lethal weapon, the strike fighters. Um, I am assembling in the city of Graz and also I have my Tout Artillery which is coming to the rescue, I did not use it yet. My Tout Artillery I'm going to position it in the mountain, in a mountainous uh, province to be able to uh, benefit of the 25% attack boost. I will go to the city of Bern before going to Milan. And the plan was 100% successful boys, look at that, after this time lapse overnight. Um, this is what happened. Milan, Venice has fallen. I passed through Bern and left it to insurgency because he had defenses there, some infantry. So I needed to kill those infantry before going to Milan because I do not want to keep my back unprotected. And grass was um, standing. It did not fall. You see that I had 12 infantry in the city of grass and also a third artillery behind. So he had no chance to break through that defense. And now, it's about time to... I have two strike fighters, one air security fighter. They have been healing all overnight because of that military hospital. And now I'm going to send them into action. The recon division in Venice and Milan, they are going to proceed in the invasion. They are not going to stop there. I need to take down as much homeland cities as possible. Why? Because Italy is, uh, is uh, going for the army bases level 2. So I do not want Italy to make tanks or mechanized infantry now. These units that are going to complicate things a lot. Because I do not want him to get more hit points. I need to finish him as fast as possible. Because I will expect his allies to interfere in this war. So I need to finish Italy ASAP to be able to regain my defensive position on the borders with Germany before Germany even thinks to attack me. This is very important boys, I do not and I should not lose so much time in the invasion of Italy because I will keep my back exposed to Germany because now if Germany decides to attack me, I will be having only my strike fighters to defend myself. Well, strike fighters that are going to be enough, they are going to be very lethal and good early game if he does not have uh, air security fighters. But let's keep the high hopes, boys. Let's keep the high hopes and we shall uh, hope that Germany is not going to interfere yet in this war. The good thing that Poland is finding a lot of problems. Like I said, the coalition of Ukraine, Greece, uh, Syria, and um, they are already invading all of Poland. They are attacking him. So I should not expect any dangers, any threats from Poland. The only thing is going to disturb me a little bit is Germany. Also, France has some problems with the United Kingdom. So, uh, I think the conditions of this coalition, they are going to my favor because I do not think that Germany is going to be bold enough now to move for his allies because all of his allies, they are finding problems. All of his allies, they have problems. You see, France has lost Paris. Uh, Poland has lost Warsaw, uh, Italy has lost Rome, as Rome now is under the rule of the Austrian Empire and Germany is the lone wolf there and I think after I finish Italy I will go after him, I will go after him, we will see what will happen but it is going very good for us, yeah, the only inconvenience that I lost my only component city, of course I got it back but we shall see how we are going to manage our resources production in the upcoming episode. Thank you guys for watching today's episode and we meet in the next one. Let's shout to the Austrian Empire to be great again. See you guys and bye bye.